So it turns out I'm not making a video on Star Wars, and I'm actually going to be making a video on Beastars and the politics within it. So yeah, this should be interesting. Now this video doesn't exactly require me to pick a side on the political spectrum. However, I understand that political topics, and especially in my type of videos, tend to turn people off. So if you don't want to watch this, I understand. I'm also experimenting with different mics, so let me know in the comments if this quality sounds better or worse than my previous quality. And now, onto the video. So yeah, B-Star slaps really hard. However, as many of you may have already guessed, I'm not here to praise the show. I'm here to rant and talk my shit. Now, this isn't going to be a typical review of a t series the way I usually do. I'm just going to be dissecting one major problem that I find with the show. And this problem can be summed up by one simple word, actually. Themes. Particularly, how this show handles its themes. Let me explain. Now, many of you who have actually watched the series may actually know that racism is a very prevalent topic throughout the series. Many people like to argue that this analogy is done very well within the series, but I couldn't disagree anymore. In simple terms, the way the show presents its races as if they are carnivores and if they are herbivores. I don't think I need to explain to you guys what the difference between a carnivore and a herbivore is, so yeah. Before I get into my critique, I'd like to add that the show does an amazing job of doing the individual species and how they each are treated within this world. Not everyone is inherently born equal. Some people are stronger, faster, and we kind of just have to deal with that. However, many people try to argue that this show works as a one-to-one -one comparison of racism to the real world. Not only do I believe that using animals as an allegory for racism is wrong, especially in this context, but I believe it's very dangerous as well. One of the main plot points in this show is that carnivores are going out of their way to quote-unquote devour herbivores, which is just a more pleasant way of saying eating people. Obviously, the herbivores are terrified of the carnivores in response, and that's where the racial divide comes from. The main character, Lagoshi, actually has an inner conflict that he has to deal with with wanting to attack people, even though he knows it's wrong. Now, this works fine in its own universe where an anthropomorphic dog wants to fuck an anthropomorphic rabbit, but it does not work at all as a one-to-one -one comparison for our world. The reason being because it implies that one race is inherently more dangerous than the other. If you were to say take a wolf and a rabbit, the rabbit has every right to fear the wolf. In the real world, wolves actually do eat rabbits, and same goes for in this hypothetical fictional world. But that's simply not how a race is in our world works. The only real difference you see between the different races of people from day-to-day -day life is just that, their race. At least when you're discussing specific attributes atoned to that race. In the world of Beastars, herbivores actually have a reason to fear carnivores because of their physical attributes like claws and fangs. However, but in the real world, there is no significant difference between the races that make one another stand out as far as being more dangerous. So when you take the way that Beastar deals with racism and you try to com use it as a one-to-one -one comparison to the real world, the message changes. It's no longer we're all equal, and more so, we should ignore possible dangers. But Kyle, didn't Wisecrack do a video similar to this on Zootopia? <coughs> <coughs> yes, it's true. I'm not the first person to explore using animals as allegories for racism and the problems with them. However, Zootopia is a little bit better in this regard, and let me explain why. For one, the fact that Zootopia is a film allows for these themes to come by quickly, so when they come by in simplistic forms, it's okay. In addition, Zootopia doesn't present itself as something that it's trying to be a one-to-one -one comparison to our world. Zootopia does an amazing job of establishing a setting that is clearly different from ours, so when things come off as not a one-to-one -one comparison, it's okay, and it also feels natural. Also, this might sound like a cop-out, but Zootopia is clearly meant for a much younger audience than, say, Beastars. It's okay, it's okay to use these analogies in simple forms, when, especially when gearing your children. All you really need is a line like this. Oh, there's a them now. But yeah, if you couldn't tell, Beastars is clearly meant for a much older age demographic. Including themes of violence, toxic masculinity, and slut shaming. And if I'm being honest, this show captures those themes so much better than the themes of racism. But yeah, since Beastars is clearly directed to a much older audience, the show kind of requires to be much more mature with its approach. Especially with the instinctive sexual nature the show applies to when a carnivore eats someone. For some reason, whenever the show depicts an animal about to devour someone, they go out of its way to make the, the tone extremely sexual. Almost as if it's also implied rape. 
Yeah, I got nothing to say. That's kind of fucked. But yeah, if you don't understand why the implications of sexual assault and instinctive matter to a specific grouping of people is wrong, then I watched the movie 13th. You don't really need to agree with all the political ideas. You don't also only really need to watch the first 10 minutes. But still, it's pretty bad. Now, am I saying you shouldn't like the show? Absolutely not. There honestly is a lot to love about the show when it comes to music, art direction, characters, and voice acting. If you watch the sub. However, the way the themes of racism is portrayed in the show only really works in a vacuum. Calm the fuck down. Stop acting like it's the next Moonlight, for God's sake. But yeah, good show, but clear mishandling of one theme. Thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, as always, until next time.